Let's cut some skins to the good shape for your skis. Yeah, smells good, huh? These are my brand new Mixmo Air skin from Black Diamond. So to start things off, uh, just measure halfway on your tail where to put the hook. I think it's just a good way to be safe either. Uh, if you cut it too long or too short, you can always readjust and you don't have like, uh, you're not to the extremes. And also it's happened to me that I reused a skin on a, another ski that was a different length. And so I could, uh, yeah, it's just a safe way to do it. Um, and then you can uh, start to assemble the, the front hook, the tip hook. So there's, it's a three part um, system. So I only use the metal part and the hook itself to measure the third one, the plastic, and can leave it aside just to measure. It doesn't change anything. And uh, I'm going to mark the skin where I need to cut it uh, just by feeling under the uh, the hook where it's placed it doesn't have to be like super precise because one the the skin does stretch and also the tail hook does stretch so all that stretching it's you know if you're within like a few millimeters it won't change nothing so do use a ruler to cut the skin it's really a lot easier to have a straight line when you're gonna assemble the front hook to the skin. Watch your hands, Renee. Get rid of that uh, fluffy stuff. Now just measure again to see if um, you cut it to the right length. So I'm stretching the, the skin into the hook just to see if it's gonna be about right. And so I'm satisfied here. Put this key aside. Now I'm gonna assemble the hook to the skin and always uh, try to imagine where the the ski is gonna be. So you need to see the Black Diamond logo on the metal part, and you need to not see the Black Diamond logo on the hook itself. So that's how I remember it. Um, just wiggle your way in to um, get the screws in. Um, not so easy to do, but sometimes it just pierces through and sometimes it doesn't. If you've noticed, I have not put the plastic part in um, yet so I after I did the first skin I realized that you don't need to put it right away you could just pierce the the skin and then it's easier to add the plastic part uh, later on so I'm just gonna get the three screws in just to get them started through the skin and then I'm gonna stop there so that's the second screw that's in I have tried in the past to punch uh, the hole in the skin. It's worked okay. It's worked great actually, but uh, I've not done it again. Just, I'm just scared that maybe the hole is going to be too big for the screw, and then it, it's going to create like a too much uh, a, a, of a hole for the screws to really bite. And so now I've put the plastic part in, and then I can go. Uh, through that plastic part and that's really what holds the screw into the skin just the metal part is just for structural uh, strength but it does not stop the the, the screw from uh, loosening up so you need that plastic part so So now I'm realigning the screw because it didn't bite correctly into the plastic uh, part. So just making sure that like in the plastic part, it's pre-holed 
and those holes are really small so you need the tip to really hit the right spot so making sure I'm aligned and now I can go through So I did a mistake on that skin, as you can see, I forgot to remove the plastic, uh, the, not the plastic, but the, the paper uh, film that's protecting the, the skin. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have that in my uh, hook. Um, I'll need to cut it around the hook to get the, the paper out of the skin. So a little mistake here. Once you got the three screws in, it's really easy to break them. So it's the, the, the screws are like um, already weakened uh, from the factory. So it's, uh, it's really easy to get them to, to break at the good place. So now I realized that I forgot to remove that paper. trim the, the rest of the paper out, make it nice. But as, you, as you can see, it's irrelevant as, as long as I'm not cutting the skin. I'm gonna just check again if it fits good. Um, so enough tension on the hook, I'm satisfied. Now I can remove the paper and uh, apply the skin so that I do my first cut. Taking my time to really make it centered the most possible. Apply pressure to make sure that the skin will stay in place when you cut it. So I have not talked about it, but some tools are really easier to cut the skin in one pass, but don't overlook that simple tool that Black Diamond provides. It's a simple tool, but it works really efficiently to cut the skin, which is the main purpose here. It's just that you have to readjust. And I've seen other tools that are supposedly made to make it easier on you, but sometimes it just lifts the ski off the skins of the ski and then it's not so easy to um, to make a straight cut so sometimes just a uh, simple tool like that it goes a long way I guess it's what you've been used to got a lot of black diamond skins obviously Now I'm um, realigning the skin so that uh, the edge will show plus another two millimeter of ski base. And um, so that's the part where you really need to take your time. If it takes you 10 times to get it right, just take the 10 times. It doesn't matter. 
that's the part where you can't mess it up. Measure twice, cut once. So the tip here, it's not easy to get that two millimeter because the hook at the top, it wants to keep it aligned. So I need to work it a bit like that, going angle to angle. So my first one was a little bit too tight. And so I'm gonna try to make this one not as perfect. <laughs> so per se, if you can say that. All right. Here, you see my two millimeter all the way. So yeah, trying the best I can. All right, my tool here. Make sure I'm with my off end. Torque it a bit towards the inside. Making one continuous cut. All right, cut both sides. Enter this to see if it fits. I think it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So this one, I don't need any retouching. I got it pretty good on both sides. So now, I will use this like last time. that uh, trick again it worked good last time so reuse a bit of that uh, waxed paper so that I can cut the tip without uh, exposing the glue With the years, I've tried many shapes, <laughs> and at one point in like maybe the 2010, ah. 2012, the, the trend was like a bikini, it was called, and it's really like a shaped tip. It didn't work really good, so just go with the straight edge, that's my advice. All the little air out.
All right, so second one is done. Let's see the result. Let's make sure there's no hair around. And then it's pretty much done. All you need to do is make sure that uh, it looks good, it makes sense, and that uh, I like it. I like all the it. The cuts are good. It's pretty good. Just here, I didn't place it pretty perfect. And voila, second skin is done. good so last touch I'll get a nice gold TV sticker uh, it's all about the journey so Charles printed these for me thank you Charles you're awesome and I'm gonna put it right here What do you guys think? Pretty cool, eh? I like it. What say you, Charles? I think you look good, man. Yeah. Now you're ready to go skiing. Yeah. Ready to go skiing. I can't wait. So usually I throw away that one that I've used. Uh, you can keep it if you uh, think you might need it again. It's always good to have a spare or two. Um, but yeah, don't cut many, many pairs of skins with the same blade. It won't do it. 